Coach Fapula, thank you very much for your time. A nil nil draw here. Uh, entertaining game, uh, but there were no goals. What were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, a uh, very entertaining game. I think we started very slow um, um, to get into the rhythm, and uh, I think we wasted a, a, a first half. We didn't play as well as we should have. Um, but still, we, we, we had few chances that we should have converted regardless. But again, it's the same story that uh, um, last, last week I spoke to you about is, is not being able to finish the chances that we create. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a challenge and I, I begin to think it's more psychological than anything because we're working on it uh, at training. But obviously, uh, the players in the game, they're the ones that are playing. So they just need to get into, into a space where they are relaxed. You know, when they get a chance, they don't think too much. Then they can put it away and, and that will boost, 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 uh, boost their, their morale and confidence moving into the next chance they get. But up until we get into that space, we're, we're going to keep working, keep working, keep trying to create chances and hoping that something uh, will give at some stage. Uh, coach, what was your, your approach uh, tactically going into this game? Um, tactically today, because we've played against them and, and, and we know their keeper scored uh, uh, from uh, 70 meters or so. So we knew that they also used their keeper very well in the build-up phase. So we thought, let's, let's, let's make sure that we close the sides because his distribution normally goes on the sides where they create 2v1. And we thought, let's allow the full backs to come. And when we get the ball, we quickly uh, counter those spaces uh, behind their full backs. And we're able first have to create chances from those situations because we're able to get the ball, uh, uh, put it in those areas quick, quickly and get across. And that's why we got two chances that we should have punished. But second half, we thought, okay, they're playing at home, they'll be coming because they're on top of the log and not by mistake because this is a good team. So they're on top of the log. So obviously they, they, they want to consolidate their, their place on top and they would want to get three points. So they will come. So we knew that come second half they will get desperate. As long as we're strong mentally, uh, uh, we know that we're waiting for the right moment in our transition or in our counter situation and we're able to punish. And unfortunately, in those situations, our decision making let us down. You know, where the a, a, a three v one, where the three v two, where the pass went to a player that was not supposed to go to. You know, um, yeah. But it's a, it's a story of our lives in the last uh, three months or so. But we are we are aiming to work on 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 all those. Uh, 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 areas of our game where we still need to improve. Hoping that in the next four games I'll be talking to you uh, uh, with the three points in the back. Uh, coach, you said, uh, like you said, they came at you, uh, but your defence to, uh, today, they were fantastic. Uh, your centre backs, the tall guy at the back, they, they were able to defend everything thrown at them. Uh, how did you set them up and did you, did you anticipate the onslaught that came later in the game? We, we did, we did. We knew how they play actually and uh, we knew that uh, uh, they will try maybe later in the game to put those long balls and uh, we knew that that is the strength of the centre back that we have. He wins everything. So we just wanted to make sure that one problem that we had, we did not dominate the second ball as well as we should have, you know, because that was my worry to say we have the centre back winning the first ball, but then if they pick up the second phase ball, they are able to continue with the attack, you know. And but once we pick up the second ball, we cut the attack, we get an advantage on a transition going forward, you know. So we didn't create many of those situations because of maybe we're not that aggressive in terms of dominating the second ball. But yeah, it's work in progress. We'll keep uh, working on all areas that we need to uh, keep working on and improve. But it's a young team, but the team is coming up. I feel it, the team is coming up. It's just not easy to say it when you're not getting the result, but it's work in progress. Uh, there's a lot of positives to take home. Last one, coach. You were not totally impressed with the opportunity. Uh, after the game, I saw you approached uh, the, the referees just so that they could educate you on the offside rule and how they applied it. Uh, what was the story? No, I, I've been saying this is this is one league where you, you can't engage the officials after game. And, and I have a problem with it. I don't understand. Because sometimes I always say to them, you know, uh, if you don't educate as coaches, okay, but educate uh, players. You know, the last game, uh, three consecutive times, a player with a throw-in and the assistant raised the flag, foul throw. I said, but assistant, please, uh, okay, I spoke to my player first to say, Please ask the assistant, what is it that you're not doing right so that you can improve? 
And then the player, after the third one, he asked the assistant, assistant, what is it that I'm not doing right, that I need to do better so that it's not a foul throw? He does not answer him. So I'm saying, but for, for education purposes, at least tell the young man what is it that he needs to work on so that he can avoid doing that. Because we have young players, 17, 18, 19, that are still developing, you know. But with the offside, for me, I understand the rules say, you got to wait for the player to touch the ball. Being in an offside position is not a crime. But when you start playing the ball, touching the ball, being active with the ball, then, yes, we are, we are, we are being ruled to be offside. But our player did not touch the ball. And we had a player coming from behind, gaining an advantage to, 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 to progress with the attack to go score. And it was offside. So I'm asking, but why, why are you saying it's, it's offside? Because our player did not play the ball. He might be in an offside position, but he did not play the ball. Why couldn't you at least wait for him to see if he's going to play the ball or not? So for me, that says he actually didn't want even to see the attack progressing. So for me, I was disappointed. That is why I was angry because I wanted, maybe could have given me a, 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 a reason to say, okay, this is what happened. And then if I'm wrong, okay, I'm good. To, it's, I'm happy to be wrong. But okay, let me be educated by him so that next time, given the same situation, I know that I was wrong. But but confrontation to them, it's something else. You can't, you can't engage with them. So that is my problem. I don't know why. Coach, thank you very much for your time and all your best in the upcoming games. You're welcome. Thanks, my friend. Uh, Coach Afra Ashraf, thank you very much for your time. A nil-nil draw here in a game that you desperately needed to win to extend your lead at the top. What were your thoughts on the game? Um, I think it was a nice open game. I think in, I think in all fairness, um, football-wise, both teams played good football, exciting football. Um, but I think obviously from our side, it's important because we really wanted to get this one under the belt with three points. Uh, coming, out, coming out from the result against Highlands 1-1, against the Rumor 1-1. Um, so we're kind of catching up with the Rose a bit. But I think um, luck, the luck factor, I think, is killing us at the moment. I think the final third, we can't put the balls away, we need to do it. And I think, um, matter of time, I think, hopefully, look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the, the plus factor is we create the chances. I think that's what football is about. And I think the fact that we, we will turn the tide eventually and we will start scoring goals again. You came into this game uh, needing to, to, to win, to extend your lead in the top, like I said. Yeah. Uh, what was your tactical approach for this game? Look, we went in the game knowing, obviously, uh, um, M-Tag is similar to what we do. You know, like the, the football in playing team. And when you put two football team playing on the football pitch, it's actually it's actually nice. You know, it's an open game. Um, we went, obviously, they're trying to press a bit higher, um, trying to push them into, into areas where they don't want to be, which feel uncomfortable in. I think, we, obviously, when we got the ball, um, getting into the wide areas, trying to get the ball in the box, um, I think we did all that. I think that's what I'm trying to understand with the, with the players. I mean, they did all the right things. I mean, as a footballer, if you do all the right things and still can't score, it's just one of those things. But the problem lies is now it's been not, not one or two, three games where the same scenario happens where we, we can hit 15, 16 chances and you can't put the ball back in the net. Um, and I think it's, it's a matter of time. I think luck is going to go, eventually turn to our side and then hopefully we'll get, start get the ball back in the net. Uh, coach? Obviously, like like you say, we are concerned that you are, you are not scoring the goals and getting the win after dominating a game. Yeah. Uh, what is it that you are doing in the training ground to address this? Because going forward, uh, the teams that are, are behind you will eventually catch up if you keep on throwing games or losing games. 100%. I mean, they really catch up as it is. I mean, we're two-point lead now. Um, Hannes Park win their game. They obviously jump us up. But we do have a game in hand. So obviously that's a bit of a plus for us. But in, in saying that, I think obviously going to training, we'll be doing it whole week. I mean, that's the funny thing about football. You can practice whole week about the same thing. It comes in the game. It, if it doesn't fall, if it doesn't fall, then that's just part of the game. So you need a bit of luck. You need a bit of something. You need a bit of a bounce just to break that ice. And then when that does happen and you do score the one or the two or the three, then it happens. I mean, then football starts to come and then you start scoring goals and you collect the points. Um, the only thing which you can't go going is not go for broke. I mean, if you go for broke, we lose the point. Instead of getting a one, we get nothing. So you've got to be smart about that as well. So you got to, yes, you want to score, yes, you want to do the right thing, but also you have to understand that you also can't lose at the back and concede the goal and we can eventually, similar to what M Tigers with the, with the breakaway goal, they could have scored it. So we don't want to have that happening. So we'd rather be uh, secured and try and get the three points the right way. Uh, coach, uh, your counterpart, Coach uh, Godfrey Sapula, was not impressed with the refereeing from your side. What are your thoughts on the team today? Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, when you've been in the league long enough, you understand that you get the ups and downs. I mean, one minute you get this referee, one minute you get that referee, and I stand on free. I mean, 100%. Because, example, last week we had one decision going away, today the same decision going another way. So that's part of the game. So, and I told him, I said, look, I understand, and I understand frustration, but as long as you, you if you focus about those things, you got to get nowhere. And that's how this, this, this league has come to a point of just understanding, look, we carry on, 
and it is what it is eventually. Because at the end of the day, we're going to worry about the, uh, the officials. We're going to get nowhere. It's literally, we're fighting and losing battle, basically. So we carry on as, as per normal. Coach, thank you very much for your time and all the best in your upcoming games. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate the time.